scholars talk about the originals and Christians avoid the truth of the Bible by what well, originals and we're going to look at some things in the Bible about the originals that are not brought up and the fact is that if you have and if you believe and if you cherish your King James 1611 Bible that's much better than originals you realize we have in the King James Bible Paul didn't have Jesus didn't have in his earthly ministry Peter didn't have now they had the Old Testament but they couldn't walk around and carry one and you can carry God's word I got the old Schofield Bible here I'm using when I'm at church because of my health I, I got a tablet with the King James Bible you can get it on your phone. You can listen to a CD, cassette tape. <clears throat> you can find a Bible presented to you on YouTube. The ways that we have a King James Bible today, and we're no more wise than anybody in the early church who did not have the Bible. So Jeremiah chapter 36 the way of the originals now what's happened in Jeremiah is Jeremiah has written the word <clears throat> verse 4 Jeremiah called Baruch the son of Neriah and Baruch wrote from the mouth of Jeremiah inspiration all the words of the Lord and he had spoken unto him upon a roll of a book there's the originals. There's the originals, which there was no chapter marking, but Jeremiah 36. By the way, the originals did not have chapter and verse markings. Any of them. Thank God. He's allowed us, through the Holy Spirit, to have those chapter and verse markings. And some of them, very much, I believe, are inspired by God. The way they're marked. But there's the originals. Okay, you want them originals that Jeremiah wrote? Look at verse 22, same chapter, 36. Now the king sat in the winter house in the ninth month, and there was a fire on the hearth burning before him. And it came to pass that when Jehudai had read three or four leaves, pages of the scroll of the book, they still use that term today, leaves, and cut it with a pen knife. So he starts taking what Jeremiah wrote, the originals, he starts cutting it to pieces. That's what happens with the modern translations. They cut out pieces and cast it to pieces into the fire that was on the hearth until all the roll was consumed in the fire that was on the hearth. So where is the originals of 36 4? Somewhere in this world they're ashes. Ashes. And those ashes, if you were to could find those ashes they would be no good to you because look 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 verse 32 well verse 27 then the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah after the king had burned the roll and the words which I wrote, wrote the mouth of Jeremiah saying so this is what God says here. Now look. 
verse 32 then took Jeremiah another roll gave it to Baruch the scribe the son of Neriah who wrote therein from the mouth of Jeremiah verse 4 all the words of the book which Jehoiakim king of Judah had burned in the fire so he rewrites what was burned from God from Jeremiah to the pages and there were added besides unto them many words uh oh now we're not supposed to add but God can add you know many like words for everything that that was said in 36 in addition to I would say verse 20 maybe or verse 10 to the closing of this chapter the added words but if you want the originals of Jeremiah 36 I'm sorry my friend they're gone and they would do you no good Jeremiah 51 Jeremiah 51 the originals Jeremiah 51 verse 51 uh, no Jeremiah 51 63 63. Jeremiah 51 63, the originals. And it shall be when thou hast made an end of reading this book, Jeremiah, Jeremiah's book, the 51 pages. Do you want the originals? That thou shalt bind a stone to it. Take what you just wrote, Jeremiah, and put a stone, tie a stone to it. And cast it into the midst of the Euphrates. The river Euphrates. You want the originals? Go diving. In the Euphrates River. And any bodies of water. South. Of the Euphrates. And go look for the original. Of Jeremiah. Not only was the original parts of it burned with fire, but the entire originals of Jeremiah were drowned. Fire by the king of Judah and called to be drowned by God. They're not going to do us no good. You say, well, how do we get the book of Jeremiah? From God. Probably rewritten it like chapter uh, 36. Now look at this one. This one's weird, but look at John 8. John chapter 8. time turning pages give you time John chapter 8 it's hard to turn pages when you can't feel your, your fingers or your hand all right John chapter 8 verse 6 this they said tempting him this is the Pharisees and the scribes talking to Jesus that they might have to accuse him. They're trying to get Jesus in trouble. They're trying to catch Jesus with his actions. But Jesus stooped down and with his finger, the finger of God, the finger of Jesus, all God and all man, 
wrote on the ground on the ground words Jesus wrote with his finger on the ground in the temple as though he heard them not. So he ignores them. Now look at verse 2. It was early in the morning he came again to the temple. So he's in the temple. And they come bugging him. And he stoops his body down and he takes his finger and upon the floor of the temple he writes as everybody else for the 66 books of the Bible they wrote Jesus writes on the ground so when they had continued asking him he lifted him up himself and said unto him he that is without sin among you let him first cast a stone at her Again, he stooped to the ground and wrote, I mean, he stooped down and wrote upon the ground. And it's funny how it says, when they which heard it, what he wrote. Let me ask you a question. I mean, all you people who've been to Jerusalem in the footsteps of Jesus. Where are those words today? That with the finger of Jesus he wrote. And I'm not talking about no Catholic mound or Catholic, you know, so we can charge you money. I'm talking about the real words that Jesus wrote with his finger. Where are they? Men and women and animals walked over in time. Rome came in and sacked Jerusalem. Christians, Gentiles, and Jews, and asses, and camels, maybe, and cattle, and birds, walked over the very words of God that Jesus wrote. Now, you don't believe that Jesus is God. That's, that's your problem. Because Jesus is God. And he wrote words. You can't find them today. I've never been to Jerusalem. I'll, let, I'll wait for Jesus to take me to Jerusalem. But they probably have some kind of hokey pokey little thing over there. This is where Jesus wrote. Yeah, okay. But the actual words that Jesus wrote in the ground that spoke to these men. Footprints. Paws. Wind. It's gone. Fire destroyed. A river. Consumed. And footprints. And wind. Maybe a broom erased the words of God. And it's not going to help you if you had the original. Okay, Exodus chapter 32. Exodus 32 verse 4. And we see them in their hand and fashion it with a graving tool after he made a molten cow. So he makes gods. And the children of Israel start worshiping him. And they have a Baptist fellowship. Now Moses has been up in the mountain and the original original Ten Commandments the original Ten Commandments was spoken then Moses goes up in the mountain 40 days and 40 nights and gets the original Ten Commandments on stone. The 
It says in verse 15, Moses turned and went down from the mountain. The two tables of the testimony were in his hands. The tables, you can still find that in notebooks, were written on both their sides. Oh, look at that. On the one side and the other side. So, here are these tables, two of them, written. Verse 19, And it came to pass, as soon as he came nigh into the camp, that he saw the calf and the dancing, and Moses' anger waxed hot, and he cast the tablets out of his hands and break them beneath the mount. Alright, so the... the, the Original written tablets of the law is broken by Moses. All right, you might be able to find a fragment somewhere and put them again. Okay, you may. Jeremiah 36 by the king of Judah was burned ashes that's not going to do you no good the book of Jeremiah by order of God to Jeremiah is cast a, 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 into the river tied to a rock and let it sink well again you can go diving look for it but Really not going to do you that much good. Jesus, God, stooped upon the ground on the temple floor and wrote with his finger. And everybody upon everybody and animals and maybe a broom and the wind. Disassembled what Jesus wrote. It's gone. Genesis. Genesis. Chapter 2. Genesis chapter 2. Verse 17. Now, this is the first recording in the Bible of what God says to man. Now, God may have said other things to Adam before this, but this is the first recorded writing of what God had to say. Verse 16. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayst freely eat, but of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, that thou shalt eat, and thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. That's the word of God. Oral. Like the Ten Commandments were first oral. And then written on tablets. Broken. Later to be rewritten. As Jeremiah it is burned. It is rewritten with more added. As Jeremiah. It is written. It is bound to a stone and is cast into a river. Yet, the very words that were written, with one extra chapter, is in the pages of the King James Bible. Jesus stoops on the ground, and what God wrote is gone within time. Again, wind, rain, people, pause. God spoke to Adam a commandment, the very first commandment. 
And the first commandment is, go ahead, eat any tree you want in this garden, but do not eat of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Chapter 3, verse 8, uh, chapter 3, verse 6 in Genesis. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, the tree of knowledge good and evil, that was pleasant to the eyes, a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took the fruit thereof and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, Adam was with her, and he did eat. What's the original here? They were ignored. And sin comes into the world. And sin is what brought our Savior, Jesus Christ, to be nailed on that cross. And to suffer death. And the glory of the resurrection that we might be saved. And today, the Word of God is widely ignored. The Word of God is changed. I've been in a church, Southern Baptist Church, where the pastor did not even bring a Bible to, the, to his pulpit. I've been in many churches from Connecticut and Florida where you don't even see people bring their Bible. And with a Bible next to the hymnal on the back of the pew, they don't even grab that to look in it. That is a shame. Because the only way you're going to know God is through the Word. Listening to your preacher preach is not enough. And he may be preaching wrong to you. I caught the preacher up there preaching many times. Misquoting the scriptures. As a street preacher on the, on the street preaching the gospel, I have misquoted the scriptures. To my shame. But get off talking about the Rangers because they're gone. And get into a King James 1611 Bible. The, pre the preserved, inspired word that God would have us to believe in faith that it is the word of God. 